ladies and gentlemen, we've seen it again tonight. Yes, live in the flesh. Maybe not the Michael Jordan, but the LeBron James. Just like you've seen at the end of the game, him uh, carry Marcus Morris on that beautiful and one foul. You watched him carry the Cleveland Cavaliers to another finals. And tonight without Kevin Love. All this LeBron talk is not clutch. I think he showed people during this Eastern Finals once again, as well as this whole playoffs versus the Pacers. He showed some of that. I mean, there was no need versus the Raptors. But LeBron being clutch, uh, uh, talk should be dead. Uh, the Boston Garden got quiet tonight by the middle of that. I say about seven minutes, you could feel aura in the Boston Garden that they felt it was over. They missed a lot of three-pointers tonight. Terry Rozier thought shot just a little bit too much. Jalen Brown was hitting shots. I thought he could have shot a little bit more. Tatum looked great tonight. These, these two young guys, Brown and Tatum, they got over in Boston. They got a hell of a future in front of them. And, it, and, and as far as their draft and Hayward, where he fits in now, I don't know. When you got Kyrie, Rozier, Brown, Tatum, where does Gordon fit in with the playing time? Uh, uh, Marcus Morris needs time. So there's, there's a lot in Boston that needs to be figured out this summer. And, and with these draft picks coming up, they're going to have to figure something out and to bring someone over that's going to be able to help them beat LeBron. Even though it would have been interesting to see if Kyrie and Gordon play in this series, especially Kyrie, what this series would have been like. But uh, once again, King James showed up, dun dun dun, dun and put on that cape. And the crown, and it was over. Huge game by Jeff Green tonight. Jeff Green, I believe, 19, you might have more. But last time I, I, I kept up, it was 19 points. Jeff Green had a huge game. He hit some shots. He got some rebounds that were needed. Cleveland did a great job in the second half capitalizing on rebounding. The, the, the first half was turnover crazy. A lot te a lot of the, both teams didn't capitalize off of the turnovers and missed shots and second chances. Cleveland came in the second half more focused, better rebounding, better defense. That huge block by Le uh, LeBron James. I couldn't even believe Terry Rozier even tried to make that dunk. That was just ridiculous. But uh, the simple fact that um, Cleveland's going to the finals again Eight years straight for LeBron James just goes to show this, the greatness that this man brings on the basketball court. It's not to be denied. Um, great game by Cleveland overall. They played well when they needed to. I told people they were going to win this game seven. You had to be ridiculous to think that Boston was going to beat LeBron James. They're not ready yet. Not this year and possibly not next year. Um, LeBron James hasn't shown any signs of slowing down. Might need some help over there. Larry Nance look a little sloppy tonight. Um, J.R. Smith finally hit some damn shots. We were we were waiting all damn serious. Finally, he got some shots. Kyle Corbin didn't play too well tonight. Tristan Thompson stepped up big a bit. He got some good rebounds when was needed. But the Cleveland's game plan in the second half shut Boston down. I don't think they scored much in the second half of the game, to be honest. I don't recall them scoring much in the second half of this game. Marcus Smart shot a bunch of stupid shots. Rozier shot a lot of stupid shots. Tatum Brown should have been more the focus point of the second half, and they took the ball away from them and made Rozier and Marcus Smart shoot up a lot of shit. And Horford just disappeared kind of in the, the second half of the game. He started off good and then kind of disappeared. I think it was Cleveland's defense that they didn't get props for because Tristan Thompson stepped up big time. LeBron started playing a little bit of defense in the second half. The first half, he was late. He looked lazy. But uh, they did it again. The Cleveland Cavaliers are going to the finals. We don't know if they're going to be playing the Houston Rockets yet or the Golden State Warriors. Uh, we'll, I'll be live ready to do that tomorrow night as well after the game. Um, tomorrow night's tough. I don't. I was going to Golden State all serious. And I'm not going to get too much into Golden State Houston. We'll leave that for tomorrow. But uh, after watching these first six games, I recognize both teams can win any given night. They both know how to beat each other. This game seven is going to be a good one. Uh, I'm going to be interested to see who's going to, 
who LeBron's going to face up versus in the finals. They're going to have a tough job regardless if they play Houston and Golden State because of the death. Um, even though Golden State's a little bit more banged up and then in the playoff series even get more banged up, Golden State isn't a for sure win. But LeBron, Cleveland, them guys all came out, did they damn damage tonight. Uh, again, uh, uh, some of my... The, 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 that, that the dagger was... Boston, I don't know what the hell they were thinking on that defensive rebound by LeBron. George Hill got away from them. LeBron threw it up. That was basically dagger right there. But huge game by them. Again, Rozier shot way too many. But uh, this NBA, I know it's a new age NBA, but I'm watching way too many guys settle for threes. It's just a bit ridiculous. But once again, congratulations to Tyrone Lou, LeBron James, and the Cleveland Cavaliers organization in the city of Cleveland. You guys are going to the NBA Finals once again. So hopefully, good luck. I hope LeBron gets another ring myself. Um, y'all know what to do. Uh, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. This is the end. It's late night. I know most of y'all got to work. These games keep us up late. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, tune in tomorrow night after the Golden State Houston. And we'll be doing the same, very same thing again. So that's it for tonight, folks. Y'all have a great one. Peace, love, zone out.